Right, higher. So this is lovely, this one. So let's have a look at this. So a diagram three shows three bodies connected by light and extensible strings passing over smooth pulleys. Strings. Each string has its own tension. One mass lies on a smooth horizontal surface and the other two maps hang freely. The masses, pulleys and strings are all lying in the same vertical plane. Strings are taut. System is released. So I've got 2G acting down here. Now this tension here will be different to the other tension. I've got 4G acting down and I've got R. I only really need R when I'm working out friction. Then I've got 1G acting down here. Now different string, different tension. There. Now when I release it, I expect the 2 kilogram mass to overpower everything and drag it to the left. Drag it down. So that pulls the 4 kilogram mass to the left and it lifts the 1 kilogram mass up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create three equations. So I'm going to do one for the 2 kilogram mass. So F equals MA. So the force in the direction of travel is 2G. Minus T1 is equal to 2 lots of A. Am I given the acceleration at all? No. So then let's look at the 4 kilogram mass now. So I'm going to do F equals MA. So the force in the direction of travel is T1. The force, supposing it's T2, it's smooth, so there's no friction. That's equal to 4 lots of A. Now let's look at T2, the, uh, the 1 kilogram mass. Sorry. So the 1 kilogram mass. So if I do F equals MA on the 1 kilogram mass, it's going up. So T2 minus G is equal to 1 lot of A. Right now, then, if you look in the middle, I've got two unknowns, T1 and T2. But I've got two equations here. Look, so I've got 2G minus 2A is T1. So that can go here. So 2G minus 2A is there for T1. And then minus, and then if I rearrange this, two, T2 is A plus G. That's minus A plus G is equal to 4A. So I've got 2G minus G is G. I've got minus 2A minus an A is minus 3A. That's equal to 4A. So I've got G is 7A. So G, which is 9.8. So 9.8 over 7 is my acceleration, which is roughly 1.4 meters per second squared. Isn't that nice, that? I've created two equa three equations and subbed them over into it to work it out. Now I've got my acceleration. I can work out what my tensions are. So T1, we said, was 2G minus 2A. So T1 is 2 lots of 9.8 minus 2 lots of 1.4-ish. So T1 is roughly 70 newtons. T2, we said, was A plus G. So T2 is now 1.4 plus 9.8 which is roughly 11.2. But 2 sig fig says 11. It's 2 sig fig. Isn't that really, really nice? There's something that I really appreciate about doing something like that, although I didn't quite show my own shit. No. I think that's really, really nice. That's four minutes in, and then there's loads of consolidation. So we've finished that pack. Well done, everybody. Bye-bye. Oh, I'm going to stop